I'm a uni student. I'm studying a degree just to have one. I don't go to any lectures. I drink pretty much every night. I don't have any money. How did I end up like this? Where am I going with my life? Have I made the right call? Now this doesn't have to be us. There are actually plenty of options out there after school. It's all about choosing the right one. So we want to go get a qualification? Well, there's a few options. University courses are for more theoretical learning, so going to lectures, writing some essays, and doing some exams. Polytechs and institutes of technology offer more practical courses and are great with linking us with the industry we're studying about. Wānanga are Māori tertiary institutions. They offer practical courses within a strong Māori tikanga and kaupapa environment. Don't like sitting in a classroom? Well, we can learn practically too. Workplace training like apprenticeships, they teach theory and practical skills at the same time. Plus we can earn while we work, which is pretty sweet. We can do workplace training in a range of different industries like this one. We want to get a qualification? Well, we can get it full-time or part-time. Full-time study is best if we want to complete our qualification sooner. Part-time study is good if we have a family or work full-time. We can also study from a distance and go to summer school to get it quicker. So what are the values of one of these? What's going to get me more money? New Zealand has a qualification framework. It's pretty much a ladder. NCEA Level 3 is at Level 3. Above that's a certificate. They're a great intro to a subject. A diploma is the next step up. They're a cool way to quickly start a career. Level 7's a bachelor's degree. Three years full-time study. They can be specialised or quite general. We could then do a postgraduate course. At Level 8 we add a year for honours. To do this we need to get some pretty high marks. Then we can do a master's, and at the very top we have the PhD. So, how do they compare money-wise? Well, according to Careers NZ, if we got a certificate in Sport and Rec, within that year we could be earning 23 grand. If we had a diploma, we'd be looking at around 26,000. Now a bachelor's degree should see us earning $30,000, add honours on top, and it's around 35. And then for a master's, we'd be earning around $43,000. Getting a qualification can sting us a bit though, so we can get out a student loan through the government organisation called StudyLink. <laughs> that was StudyLink. The loan has three parts, compulsory course fees, course related costs and living costs. We can decide what parts of it we want to take out and we actually don't have to take out the full amount. What's great is we can get the loan interest free, which means what we take out we have to pay back, nothing more. We'll have to pay for compulsory course fees and course related costs. But hey, we gotta to live too, right? So we'll probably need help with rent, food, power and internet, public transport, car costs, entertainment, toiletries, dentist and doctor bills and clothes. So let's add it all up. Time spent getting qualified plus time spent repaying student debt equals, ouch. If we had a bachelor's degree in sport and rec, we'd be earning around $45,000 a year after five years of working. Now with our average student debt of $24,000, paying that off contributing the minimum amount a week, which is a bit over 60 bucks, would take us seven years and four months to pay off. What if we didn't study at all? What if we worked full time for the three years it would take for us to get that degree? If we were a waiter or waitress and we were earning around $15 an hour, we could earn around $35,000 a year working full time. Times that by three and we'd approximately have a tidy $105,000. No student loan and hey, we may have even been promoted during that time or found another place to pay us more. If we join the Defence Force, they can even pay us to study for a qualification. How good's that? Ultimately, it's up to us. It can be a pretty big decision. And it's sad that there's a stigma now that you should go to university because that's the right thing to do and you know, you're gonna waste your time otherwise you're in it for the money and such, but it's what you want to do, don't let anyone pressure you. And comedian Di Henwood says it's all about being realistic. Your goal should involve happiness, because if you're not happy, what's the point in the goal? Set yourself a goal, set yourself a limit, set yourself some parameters, and focus. I love you by the way. Want to know more? Well, here's a pretty handy tool for comparing different degrees and the average wages that go with them. Or check out other parts of the Careers NZ website or nomajordrama.co.nz to compare study options and find out more about what pathway best suits. So, education, do you care?